Hello there again people, 3DFX in the house, uh, we are back at 3DFX and what we are going to do today my friends is we are going to have a look at a piano uh, plugin in Bitwig because I've had some requests uh, a couple of months ago or weeks ago, I don't know, it's been a very long while since I uploaded another YouTube video but I thought like now is the time I have to uh, start working with it again. So we'll take a bit of a summer break and now let's kick on it, get back to stuff, get to uh, the music production uh, thing. So uh, what we're going to do, and we're going to open up Bitwig if you haven't already. And uh, when you click this button right over here, uh, in here is where you have your songs, if you made any songs. And then you can click settings, that's the settings for the program. And then you have something called packages. And in this packages tab, what you can find under, I think it's extended collection here. Uh, I have only installed the essentials collection uh, just because, well, I guess it's the most basic instruments. I don't, I don't think I even used it. I don't even know I've, I've used any of these. But anyways, what we wanna do, is we want to go down to something called Grand Piano here by Bitwig. I've never tried that one. Uh, as you can see, it should be able to take up around one gigabyte of data. I will try to install this one and see if it's possible. Uh, ah, okay. So sorry, I have shut off my internet here. I usually do that. Uh, so let's see if I can. There we go. Uh, activate that again. So let's see. Uh, all right, so uh, let's see if it can connect. All right, so we're connected. So let's uh, download this uh, thing here and see. It should go pretty fast. We have fiber optics um, 10 or actually 100 megabits nowadays. So, so that's pretty um, decent. A fiber optics connection. Um, so, uh, I, I've, I've been looking here and what I found was like there's a grand piano and then there is also a grand light piano somewhere. I think, I'm not really sure but I have seen it somewhere. So prob probably, supposedly, there is a light version of the piano as well. I'm not really sure what's the difference, but we, we take the grand piano, the normal version here, so we can actually tr compare that one to the uh, the one that I'm, I'm using from Contact Player, uh, which is a plugin called, uh, what is it called, uh, Alicia's Keys. So it's the Alicia's Keys piano. It's a Yamaha. Uh, I don't know if it's Clavinova or something like that, but it's really, really, really good piano for like bright sounding piano. Um, pretty good for certain mixes and so on. So maybe we'll do a little slight comparison there. There will be no review, I hope, but um, a little bit of a comparison perhaps. So we'll see about that. Excuse me, I'm drinking. Uh, I'm drinking. This is not actually only water. It is. Um, it is honey water <laughs> because I'm trying to reduce weight. I've been trying to reduce weight for two years. It's taking really long time for me, but I have um, gone down pretty well in in size from what I was uh, from the beginning. I weighed almost 92 kilos, and now I'm at 77. So even if it's taking a long while, I actually succeed pretty well, but I've been eating uh, raw onion and stuff like that. So it's been a tough struggle, to say the least. Anyway, uh, we're not supposed to be <laughs> speaking about the diet stuff here. We are going straight into the Grand Piano. It's uh, supposedly installed now. So let's just see if we can drop in a piano here and see if it's possible. Let's just see if we can find my keys uh, because my keyboard or motherboard is a little weird so let's see if we have something called uh, grand piano piano it's a bit big nothing really I thought I installed it so let's see uh, ah okay so they come as presets that's why and they also come as multi samples 
supposedly. All right, so let's see. Okay, so it's in. Uh, so the grand piano installed also the grand piano light, grand piano all, the grand piano pad, grand piano ricochet, and grand piano. Let's just take the normal grand piano, see how it sounds. Okay, so it comes up as like a rumbler or something, whatever you want to call it, right over here. Sounds pretty good. In my ears right now, just, you know, spontaneously judging it. But it does, I can kind of hear a sound sa sample actually. But it's a good, like, it's, a, it's good sounding, um, uh, nor in my ears anyway. So, but uh, it can probably not compare with, you know, uh, bigger priced uh, pianos out there. But I'm guessing this one is a little bit like a synthesizer if I know the uh, Bitwig crew because they're smart guys that want to, you know, have a little bit of a tweaking abilities. So it has the H, 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 A, <laughs> how do you say this? H, A, D, S, R. So A, D, S, R, at attack, uh, sustain, release, decay, and the H, I don't know, there's something extra. Um, but that's usually what it is in other synthesizers. Every synthesizer usually have a DSR. As most of you guys, or maybe some of you know, I, I'm, I'm not sure who I'm talking to here. All right, so uh, this is our looks. And uh, let me see if I can write something here. Let me just uh, get some, what do you call it? Like a uh, pen, perhaps. So let's get this up to eight bars already and let's write a little bit of something. See if we can maybe do some chords or something, you never know. Okay, so there we have something. Not really sure if it sounds good, but let's try to do a chord of that or something. So let's try this, this little chord here. It's a little bit, I don't know. Okay, so let's write something else. Um, Let's see. Let's try this. Let's try this. Okay, oh, that's a classic one. All right, so let's try it. Okay. Okay, so I probably should have a melody here. I don't know what I'm supposed to write.
So I don't know. So you can tweak the sustain here. You can increase the release so you get like more like a reverb almost. And you can do both of course. Let's see. And you can play with decay. Kind of get somewhat more emotional or whatever you want to call it. So do not know what H do. So and the attack works like normal attack would. So yeah, so it does sound pretty good. It's just a little muted in my opinion. It's like a little bit, uh, I don't know, in my ears compared to other pianos, I would say it's a little low in volume. That's very easy to fix. Of course, we could just use a compressor, whatever. Usually I wouldn't use a compressor on piano, however, however or no, it's more like I, I, I quite much so don't like to equalize a piano because uh, sometimes it sounds un unnatural. So I kind of, if I have a piano, I want to work around the sound of the piano, not really EQ that. Uh, it's just a thing uh, because I think it sounds pretty bad when you're EQing a, a piano, which is supposed to sound natural on its own, in my, in my personal opinion. But you can do what you want and uh, whatever um, sounds good, of course. So, but let's uh, let's uh, slap in a compressor. See if we can find one. Just uh, like try different solutions. So let's have say. Why did why did that not? I'm gonna have it. That, ah, there we go. Need to be in the uh, to the right end of the signal chain here. So yeah, I was thinking about the tool uh, because tool you need to have to the left. Um, all the other or more the, um, from what I know, the, the other devices uh, should be to the right. Uh, they should come off the the synth or whatever thing that's making the sound. Right. So we have a compressor. It works. Oh, but I want something maybe more transparent and. Uh, in that scenario, what I've done, uh, let's just see if we can find that compressor again. Let's see my favorites. And we have the, um, some of my favorites here. So, ah, uh, where is it? Um, compressor, no, I need, uh, uh, what's the name of, initial, yes, that's the one. All right, so this one, neat little compressor. It's, it's pretty good at transparency, so. And that's what I bought, why I bought it for. So, and sometimes I use it on the limit mode, and I don't compress; I limit instead, and, and it can be pretty good. I mean, it's really useful sometimes to be able to do that, but maybe not right now. So definitely don't use the makeup, in my opinion, uh, on. Uh, on a piano. Uh. So it, it's like this one, I would say it's, in my opinion, like a little bit smoother. So for a piano, for a natural piano, this would be a fairly decent, uh, but I'm not professional on compressors, but it's just, you know, what pleases my ears, so to speak. So, and yeah, so, so that's that. And then of course we could also we could always try a split EQ on the uh, like world's best EQ. No, but it's not really the world's best, but it, it's so easy to use. Um, and that's why I bought this one in front of what do you call the other one? Uh, the the one that's most common in the industry. I forgot it now, but yeah. Um, but anyway, so let's see if we can. And as you can hear, as, to, as soon as you start to equalize a piano it sounds bad so I wouldn't do it like uh, because it just takes off the natural uh, tone of it at once I, I don't know why that is but that's my experience never EQ a piano if if you can that's you know it doesn't get better in, in my opinion it I, almost never gets better 
if it isn't that you actually uh, process it with other stuff uh, that sounds weird already then maybe you can improve upon, upon that but a natural piano in my opinion always sounds the best as it is you shouldn't really touch it. you can have a compressor though but that, but that's just you know for increasing volume or, or limiting it or using a limiter or something like that in my opinion but that's my personal opinion all right so that's all sounds um all right, so that's the basic one there. Uh, I guess there's several uh, to choose from. So uh, let's delete the sampler. And again, uh, try to uh, find that grand R uh, preset for grand piano. Let's try the light one. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It's 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 beautiful. It, it's um it's a really good neutral, quite neutral sound like. And then I wonder also if you use this and come uh, you know, and then slap on a saturator, Bitwix saturator on top of this, you're gonna have so smooth, you know. Well, let me see if I can get this down. Okay, maybe, oh, uh, where is the compressor? Um, did I, okay, <laughs> I guess I removed the compressor here, but yeah. Um, okay, but that's a little sad, so I just slap in a compressor. Also very good, like this compressor is very, very good. It's a little harsher or so, or maybe not. It's actually just more, the sliders are a little different in my opinion. Ah, uh, but very good compressor. It's probably the best uh, compressor in my that I have actually <laughs> comes with the program. You don't really need much but than the compressor and the saturator. I, I'm extra impressed by the the saturator. Uh, it's really good, useful saturator, top notch in my opinion. The best the dive try, but but I don't have that insane experience on on saturators. But that's to my opinion. These two great great stuff from Bitwig uh, crew um, uh, yeah so then again we have the split EQ which we don't really need so I'll just uh, cut that because like I said I wouldn't I wouldn't EQ uh, something like that anyway so whatever what we're gonna do we're gonna try a few other presets so I will go to uh, ground uh, let's see again ground and see so let's see, Grand Piano, oh, let's try this one. Oh, now this is weird. It sounds like, I don't know, harmonica, no, but <laughs> marimba or something, it's so weird. Is this a honky-tonk piano or whatever is it? It doesn't sound like a piano if you ask me, but. Okay, but that's cool. Uh, quite uh, not so useful for someone like me. Grand. Uh, let's see, press it. Alright, so what's that? The pad? Okay, it's supposed to be some pad, I guess. Okay. Let's try the ricochet, see how that sounds. Uh, what? Are you kidding me, boys? That's like Lucky Luke shooting guns, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. It's so weird. Okay, cool. Anyway, they have fun at the big three crew. Let's see. We can have a uh, grand. Uh, grand, 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 granny piano. No. Uh, let's see. Grand piano. Okay, so let's. So we'll try every one of these, and now we do the nine and eighty-two. Let's see how that goes. This is also really honky tonky if you ask me. Man, the resonances are evil. <laughs> Whatever. That's more like a harp or something in my ears. Oh. 
Oh wow, cool, you can change the pitch like this. All, all of a sudden it gets, gets Asian vibes, you know what I mean? Okay, cool. Glide. <laughs> You're making me giggle a bit with crew, that's cool. Alright, cool stuff. And here we get into, <laughs> into the advanced stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what are we doing here? <laughs> Tweaking some oscillators, I guess. Alright. So that's ought to be gain or something? What is this? Alright. Low pass. What is this? Mm hmm. Okay. Man, it's just crushing in. Sounds like it's bit crush right now. Or something. Distortion. Definitely have some distortion on that thing. Okay, so here... <laughs> this is what makes Bitwig a big part of it. It's the grid, if you haven't seen it before. You can basically make your own synthesizer in a simple way. Um, if I've never tried it, so... Ah, but it's fun, <laughs> for, like popping up right in front of me uh, when I've never ever used it before. But it's very cool. I mean, like it's probably so. Yeah, I mean, if if you're into building your own synthesizer, you could probably. I mean, like check out the functions and stuff. But this is definitely over course and nothing I can really learn you a lot about at the moment. Uh, but anyway, uh, cool, cool, very. Cool. I mean, Beatbook is just the playground for musicians or whatever. So, yeah, maybe we'll get into that later. I'm not really sure. What we are going to do, my friends, is we are going to um, put in a contact, uh, and that one we have right over here, so we can uh, have as a host for our our delicious keys. And we also, we actually, first off, what we need to do, we need to have the grand beside. So let's get the preset and get the normal grand piano there. This sound pretty good. And I will just put it like some gain on. And uh, don't really care about the situation. You're just gonna have it like that. And then, I'm gonna duplicate this channel and this is called grand piano and this one is gonna be called contact or actually Alicia's keys so rename this uh, whoopsie let's see if I can write Alicia her name um, and where did she put her keys <laughs> Alicia where did you put your keys, please? Can you tell me? Here we go. I think that'll be fine and dandy for one day, one night, or whatever, one evening as it is right here. All right, so Alicia's keys. Now we gotta have to delete this sample, whatever I wanna call it, um, and enter a contact. See if we can find it here. There we have it. So let's double click the Alicia's keys. And as you can see, this is a paid piano, uh, which really doesn't cost a lot. It costs like, what can I say? Like about four uh, Big Macs, I think, or five perhaps. Uh, so it's not a lot of money for this, um, for this type of um, thing here. I think that's what I paid. Or maybe could also be double that, but uh, it's still a very quite um, cheap piano. Yeah, uh, compare ex <laughs> especially uh, compared to the real deal because the real deal, there are only four of these pianos in the world. I probably said that a million times before. Uh, so this is a rare piano gem, and here we have it in um, in virtual form. So as a VST virtual uh, instrument. So let's uh, see how it sounds when you're playing it with this, but I'm gonna have to mute the first one a little bit 
and see how this uh, same phrase sounds. So let's go. As you can hear, it definitely clearer, um, at least to my basic understanding. As you can hear. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good piano. It's, it, it's on a little bit on the bright side. So let's see, but as you could see, even without, okay, so we do have a compressor here too. So it's this, it's compressed in the same amount as the other one because I just copied it in and have a little bit of saturation there. Uh, but let's just mute this one and compare it to the other. You can hear it's more muted. It's like, it kind of feels like they're using one of these pedals, you know, to kind of mute the sound a little bit when they're playing, in, in my opinion. I don't know what you think, what do you think? So, this one much sharper, more a little bit defined, like it's, both are... So in my opinion, if you're listening just basically, what are the sound differences? I would say the grand piano sounds like an older piano. It sounds more mute and it sounds like it's been standing there for a couple of years or something like that. So if that's what you're looking for, well, say no more. You know, you don't have to buy any other piano. If you're fine with that, um, maybe um, be fine if you have bought, if you have bought Bitwig, maybe you'd be fine with this. I don't know. What do you think? You know, put your comments down below. And tell me how you like uh, these and what do you think are the strengths or weaknesses? When you're running them together, you can hear that it sounds like they are, I don't know, like it's they're, they're off, you know? So I don't know how to express that, but it does, it sounds a bit like when you're having a chorus, it sounds like a bit fails or something, I don't know. It sounds weird, a little bit. So wouldn't use them together on top of each other, but that's pretty uh, self-explanatory in, in my opinion. Uh, you should also be able to have the ADSR here, if I'm not completely off the hook on this. See, otherwise there are other pianos to choose from, so let's... Here we go. Here's another uh, piano on this source. As you can hear, this should be in an auditorium. So you can hear it's much wider space they're playing in. And concert hall, apparently. Nice. You know, you can hear like it's it's a very bright piano, so maybe it's not for everyone like, but it is pretty pristine, you know, and pretty good for many, you know, I think recordings and so on, if that's what you're after. All right, so yeah, I guess that's uh, basically what I wanted to cover here. So these are the pianos. Which one do you think is the best one? In my opinion, the Alicia's Kids takes the cake for me. It's a paid piano, but it's considering what you're paying for it, it's not a big extra. Uh, but I've also used other pianos. For example, I, there's one free piano, my friend, called Piano 162. And that one is one of the best um, uh, pianos I've heard. Um, in my opinion, it sounds a little bit more neutral than this Alicia Keys uh, piano here. In, in in my opinion, like if you could compare it to something, it's like when you're playing Alicia Keys, it's very, it's it's bright and it's like um, it it feels like it's kind of high resolution or so in the notes or whatever you want to say. I don't know how to explain that, but that's how how, how I would. Uh, explain it uh, when it comes to here for example it's, it doesn't really sound like it does like the same resolution or so on it could also depend a little bit how contact is playing up it uh, compared to other stuff and contact is I mean some of the you know biggest um, in the business is native instruments are made all these things so it could depend on that a little too 
how it plays it up and so on. I don't really know, but I think this one is supposed to be sounding a little bit muted, you know. And that's what also Piano 162 does, but I still would say, I think in my book, that the Piano 162 sounds better than the Bitwig Piano, me, in my opinion, because it's, it's said to be one of the best uh, free pianos out there. The, the, the uh, library is, I think it was eight gigabytes or something, so it's fairly big samples. Um, and yeah, uh, but anyway, so if you're interested in a, if it has to be, uh, you know, um, if it has to be free for you guys, then get the Piano 162 is my recommendation. Um, otherwise, um, if you want to try the Alicia's Keys, it's not a lot of money for that. It's It doesn't ruin you. Uh, but up to you. I'm not saying you have to have uh, paid stuff or so. Just go with the, what your gut instinct thinks is the best. And, you know, it's as always when you make music, it, it kind of uh, depends on the situation. It's It can be very varying from track to track, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so that's all for today. That's just a little little bit of a video that I wanted to do now because um I thought like maybe someone could have some use for it. So, you know, if you are new to the channel, please hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel because there are go going to come, uh, uh, you know, more uh, videos uh, from this channel. I mostly do electronic, uh, you know, uh, trance dance m type of music. Um, so that's what we're going to work with and uh, but anyway I wish you a very good day and don't forget to like the video and leave a little comment down below if you have any questions on this. Thank you very much for watching 3DFX and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Take care out there.